What's up, everybody? Uh, just leaving Page, Arizona. I stayed here last night. I was gonna go. I was kind of wanting to go check out the slot canyons, but the only way to do that is with a tour, like a you know, get on a bus or something, a bunch of other people, and whatever. And that's just not. Uh, that ain't really my thing. It's Navajo. It's all part of the Navajo Nation, so um, they control access to it. There's no public access outside of with these tours. So uh, I will uh, limit my experience of these slot canyons to photos <laughs> uh, that I found online because I'm just not interested in. I don't know tour group stuff it just I was reading about them and it just sounds like a big money grab they're like yeah well the first stop was the gift shop on the way out there and stuff and then we got there and there were jugglers and stuff and I'm uh, no thanks anyway so um, leaving page and heading in the direction of Moab uh, Utah and then uh, I don't know from there I'll figure out what's what. I'll probably stay in Moab. In fact, I might stay in Moab for a couple of days if I can find a good spot there. Um, maybe get out and do some more hiking and camping and stuff. So we shall see. Hope everyone's doing well. I'll bring you guys in as usual if and when anything interesting happens. <laughs> I don't know if these guys are together. This is a funny little duo though. <laughs> What's up, dude? The trailer boys. Oh, it's a trailer boy and a trailer girl. <laughs> I have finally found the unicorn. I have found the first McDonald's I've ever found that did not have Wi Fi. Unbelievable. There have been some I've been to out in the middle of like nowhere where I expected them to have no Wi-Fi. They've always come through. But, alas, this one here in Cayenta does not have it. <coughs> so, uh, the search continues for some internet juice. I can figure out where exactly I'm going to go. What's up, everybody? Greetings from downtown Moab. I've been here for the past, uh, I guess, three days now. I like it here. Uh, I'm on the way to meet up with the river rafting expedition. <laughs> I've got everything packed up and stuff, and sort of an odd way because I'm taking some things with me and leaving some things on the bike and this that and the other so I've got this really cool look going right now where I'm wearing my helmet my riding jacket my shorts and my boots how cool do I look right now yes very cool is the answer of course uh, anyway <laughs> uh, we're heading out this morning, today is uh, Saturday. We're heading out this morning for a two day, one night uh, trip down the river through Fisher Towers and some other spots, I guess, on the river. Um, and camping out on the bank somewhere. And apparently, the move is they were like, they have, they're like, we have tents you can use. Um, or, uh, you can bring your own tent they're like but there's no bugs and there's really nothing out there so what most people do is just sleep in a sleeping bag out under the stars and I'm like hell yes that's what I'm talking about so um, the dude was saying that the stargazing out here is like over the top which I mean makes perfect sense so anyway that's uh, 
that's where we stand as of right now i will catch you guys i'm gonna be i, I got my gopro i picked up a uh i didn't bring my head i have the head strap for the gopro um at home i didn't bring it on this trip i didn't really think i would need it uh but i do want one for this trip so i picked one up yesterday and um yeah so should be some good gopro action out oh, in the river rapids apparently the river's running really hot right now too so should be pretty sweet so all right yeah i will catch up with you guys by the way i'm on another memory card i'm on my second camera now and still another memory card so that's been a lot of fun all right i will catch up with y'all at some point see ya what's up everybody greetings from moab utah heading out of town today heading toward colorado uh today is today's monday i've been in in, a, in a moab since thursday really like this town obviously um yesterday i got back from a whitewater a whitewater rafting trip which was awesome we did a, a two-day one night trip down the colorado river um i think it was about 20 22 miles something like that uh camped about halfway down and then got into uh, most of the rapids on the second day which was yesterday the thing is, while we were in those rapids on the second day, we had a really scary situation occur. The other, there was, okay, so there was, in our group, there were three boats. There were two rafts with um, people in them. And those were paddle boats. Those were like the rafts where every person has a paddle. And then there was one boat that had all of the gear, like all of the camping stuff, all of the food, all the coolers all that stuff uh, and that was an oar boat with which just one of the guides uh, handled that boat on her own so there were three boats two two boats with you know people in them um, the other boat not the one I was in but the other one uh, in one of the rapids uh, was flipped which is not terribly uncommon it happens but um, a couple of the people that were on that boat got pulled down underwater uh, deep and for a, a kind of a scary amount of time. One of the guys happened to be running a GoPro on his helmet and uh, I managed to get it from him, get the file. He wanted to see it. When we got back to the office, he wanted to watch it. I had my laptop, so... Um, I pulled it onto my laptop. I told him I was also going to upload it to YouTube. He wants to, he's not like a computer guy, but wanted me to do that. So I'm going to put it on YouTube. Well, obviously I'm going to put it on YouTube. It's on YouTube right now, I guess. But uh, anyway, this, but he's one of the guys that got pulled deep and he was, he, I mean, you got to keep in mind when you're paddling these boats in these rapids, I mean, it's exhausting and you're, you know, you're breathing heavy and huffing and puffing and the whole thing. And uh, he got pulled down with no warning right in the middle of that and was under for 25 seconds. And uh, the video is actually pretty in intense. Um, especially when you can hear it, when you can hear the sounds he's making and stuff. I mean, it's, this dude was really struggling. So uh, here, while I run in and take care of a few things at the post office, why don't you guys watch that?
my dad? Where's Carol? Hold on to the boat. Yeah, so how scary was that? Um, I think it's 25 seconds on the dot that dude was underwater. And I think a couple of other people on the boat also went down like that. Scary stuff. Um, outside of that, it was an awesome trip. Um, we had a blast and the camping was awesome. I mean, let's check out this spot where I camped. Um, so yeah, anyway, awesome trip, awesome time. I'll show you guys a few more pictures and such from the thing. And is that it? Like, is it only around the Grand Canyon that you have that kind of rapids? Uh, yes. But the Pluto is like very controlled. They only let like a couple, a couple tens of thousands of people. Doesn't look like normal. What's up everybody? Welcome to the banks of the Colorado River. It's pretty amazing out here. Today we rafted, I think, uh, about nine or 10 miles. Tomorrow I think we'll go the remaining 10 or 12 or so. Back to Moab. Here's home. Using their tent, their sleeping bag. Because why should I carry my own? <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty awesome out here. There's oops. There's my tent. And there's my view. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty awesome trip so far. This has been a, a fun little diversion. Really glad I did this uh, rafting trip. Pretty cool. What's up everybody? Welcome to Fireside Time. Uh, this is going to be brief because I have to be quiet, but, oh, it 
It's about uh, 11.20 p.m. Everybody is asleep. Except for me. <laughs> it was up until just a few minutes ago. It was me and a couple of the guides. The three guides on this rafting trip that I'm on are all like young 20-something hot girls. And it's been pretty awesome. And they're really cool. And so, uh, uh, the smoke is blowing right in my face. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, we've, uh, we rafted about, I don't know, 10 or so miles today. We're going to do about 10 or so miles tomorrow. Apparently tomorrow is all the big rapids. We did a couple of smaller rapids today. But, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous out here. There's the moon. The stars are trying to poke out. It's a little overcast tonight. But we are like right on the shore of the river. The river the water is like 10 feet from where I'm standing right now. Just awesome. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, whitewater rafting. Check that off the list of things I didn't really expect to do on this trip, but I'm glad that I did. So yeah, uh, today, like I said, today's Monday. I'm heading out of Moab and heading toward Denver area. Um, not on any kind of time crunch or anything. So there you go. All right, that's where we're at right now. Today's Monday, heading out of Moab, heading toward Colorado. And then from there, I'm thinking I'm going to head up into the like Black Hills, like South Dakota area, like up Wyoming into there. And across, I got a friend that lives in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm going to go hang out with for a bit. And uh, then up to Chicago. And then I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to do the whole Northeast thing. I got a bunch of friends that live up there. And a bunch of them have been like, yo, come, I got a place for you to stay, blah, 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 which makes it really tempting. But also at the same time, at some point, I got to go home. <laughs> so, I don't know. We will see. Uh, yeah, all right. Hope everybody's doing well. I'll bring you guys in if anything interesting happens. I'm thinking today is probably going to be mostly about putting down some miles. So, we'll see what happens.